We're breaking into something totally new here. I've got a laser cutter that we're going to be making some graffiti with. Let's go. Got to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Xtool. They sent over this D1 Pro model. It's set up with a 20 watt laser, so that makes it plenty capable to cut or engrave a ton of different materials. They're running some pretty crazy deals right now, some of which are even up to 50% off. So check out the description for some more info on that. As something to look forward to, Xtool has been developing their F1 laser engraver. Be sure to check out the crowdfunding for that project as well. Gotta put a protective layer down maybe so we don't burn right through the desk. And I I think I'm gonna sketch up some designs that we can kind of cut on our first pass, get used to this. I've been practicing my calligraphy tag a ton lately, and something about these yellow blanks just makes the, the calligraphy go so crispy, so I think we gotta hit up some of those. I'm sure we can get one total clean one after a few tries here. I'm also feeling some like saucy curly tags here, bullet tip style for sure, and the iPad's the way to go for that. And of course, it's already digital there, so it makes my life easier down the road. All right, I think we got a few to choose from here. I've got this in Illustrator so I can actually export it as a path for the Xtool software. And I'll just do that by saving it as a SVG file. So I've got these envelopes that I mail most of my posters and stuff in. You know, they're pretty flexible, but all honesty, they've got a nice kind of finish to them and they're super flat. So I figured that would be a decent place to start off with for our stencils. It should be easy to cut through. I think I'm just gonna tape it down to the cut wood here so that it doesn't kind of move around on us. You can run a quick frame test here to see what our kind of corners are to the overall path. Make sure we're well within our cardboard area there. Get my rec specs on and we should be good to start. Wow, look how crisp those edges are. The machine looks more accurate than the original drawing. Cut it close on the bottom here with that arrow. That did such a good job. Check that out. Now I know we said we were gonna run this as a stencil, but come on, having a, kind of a 3D cutout of the tag, we're definitely gonna have to run some of those too. Check out how clean the star is too. Yeah, I think the sizing of the cutouts is pretty good. The little arm here was a thin section, but it seems to be holding on there pretty good. <laughs> Look at that, we got a free engraving of the tag as well. <laughs> this backdrop's definitely gonna get so messy as we go over it a hundred times. Let's get some spray paint on this guy. Now that's looking clean. A little fire gradient in the mix. Oh yeah. Wow, that came out so clean. I gotta go mess around with that double layer stuff, see what we can come up with. But I definitely don't wanna let these guys go to waste. They came out super clean. So let's go for maybe just a heavy border around it and we can kinda like glue and lay them up. I think that should work well. Now what I'm thinking, place that over top. We'll have to work on our alignment, make sure stuff isn't out of whack with all the different pieces. Yeah, that'll look so fresh. Maybe we can do spray a, a red backdrop and then spray the yellow over top of our, our letters here. Wow, that really did come together pretty well. It's fun to see just the slightest bit of shadow cast down onto the red from, from the yellow tag there. This is so fresh, can't wait to get the other ones laid up. I got a few other designs on deck here. First off, we've got this crazy piece that's gonna be a three layer set. I'm feeling that that one's gonna really come together well. And of course, we gotta do a throw up in the mix. I vectored up that yellow cutty tag from the start and that one's gonna be rocking as our final piece. Using some scrap cans here to paint up each of the little sections, nothing too special there. I let all the little bits dry for a good while, didn't want to let any of that paint flake off or, or get messed up with the next layer. And then I just laid them up with some super glue. Even on some of the more detailed sections where I had to lay down a bunch of different lines of glue, it gave me enough time to you know, work and get those in place before it started drying. I did make sure to keep that glue kind of far from the edge. I didn't want it to kind of squeeze out over onto the, the next layer there. If you're gonna give this a try, I definitely suggest doing the same.
course we got to do a throw up in the mix. I'm going to try and do some multi layers with the backdrop on that one, but maybe reuse the inside of the cutouts as the actual fill color. Looking super nice. Come on, this P style. You know, this was a design I made for another project that never got used and it came in so proper here. Got to love the three color setup and even the, the negative cuts for the shadow there on the 3D. Definitely hype on the way the piece kind of turned out. And ironically enough, it feels like this is like a tag throwy piece challenge again. Throwy came out real nice, reused from my tag throwy piece challenge, but it was nice to drop that in the mix. I actually used just the negative cutouts of the original throwy as the fill here. It gives it a cool little finish there because it's all flat at the same layer for where the actual throwy's at. Super hype on the tags here. Yellow was super crispy, kind of curly style, and then we got the cutty style with the purple lavender almost. These are real, real fun. I feel like all the edges of the calligraphy tag really give it a nice backdrop, especially when you give some distance to the actual backdrop. It really kind of gives it a nice punch out. On the rounded style, maybe I'd go a little bit skinnier the next time, let the tag stand out a little bit proud, but altogether I think it, it works out just fine. And something I forgot that I wanted to do was actually, there's an etch feature on the X tool, so you can actually like engrave an image. I was thinking that that might give us some cool results with the holographic stickers. We got a few to try on. Let's go and uh, see what comes of it. Oh, can't say I was exactly expecting that. It's leaving it white. I can't quite tell if we've blasted through the eggshell material or if it's actually coming up from just removing the holographic portion. But it doesn't look like we're going through the backing, so I don't know. We'll see. Wow. Yeah, it feels like it just went through the holographic finish on it. Damn. Now we're talking. It's like the most perfectly opaque tag in the world. Nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed the bonus session with the little engraving. Super excited to see where we kind of take that. The holographic's a, a nice little trial ground to see where you can get that kind of photorealistic stuff printed out. Don't have to go for the full vector route like some of these. But after all, the digital work to get all my tags or the, the piece in this case ready to go for the X tool wasn't too bad. So definitely rewarding to show that my current design process is going to be well suited by the tool. Massive, of course, thank you to Xtool for sending this over. It's, of course, an amazing piece of equipment, so I'm going to be using this a ton now. You're going to definitely be seeing this in some future videos. Be sure to check out the description if you're interested in picking one up. We've got all the coupons and, and good stuff down there. It's going to do it for me, guys. Peace.